Thank you for calling Better Times, where the past can be your present. Please listen carefully to the following list of choices to best direct your call. If you would like to hear about our services, please press 1. Otherwise, at Better Times, we strive to reconnect you and your past with the power of conversation. Through a short phone call, you can return to any date of your choosing and hear the voice of a missed loved one once again. These meaningful interactions are a reminder of the legacy they leave and better times. If you are interested and wish to speak to a representative, please press 1. If you would like to. We are currently experiencing a high volume of calls. We thank you for your patience and will connect you with a representative shortly. To ensure the best possible customer service, this phone call may be recorded. calling better times this is Anna how may I help you yeah um, I was interested in your services but I was a little confused on how it works exactly could you please explain it to me of course so it's very simple you just give us the name of a person from your past and a date that you'd like to speak with them on once you do that we'll give you a 10 minute phone call with that person on the exact date that you chose does that make sense can you still do it if the person's dead Yes, that's fine. They can be currently alive or dead. Okay. Can you please set up a call for me? I sure can. Can I please get your name? Noah. Noah Anderson. Okay, Mr. Anderson. Who would you like to talk to? My mother, Sarah Anderson. And is there a specific date you'd like to talk to her on? Uh... It doesn't have to be any date of significance. can be any date you like. Okay, how about um, January 9th, my birthday? I'm afraid I'm going to need the exact date. 2006, January 9th, 2006. I think I was in middle school. Okay, so you'd like to speak with Sarah Anderson on January 9th, 2006. Is that correct? Yes. All right, I'll set it up for you in just a second, but first a few logistics. The maximum duration of the call is 10 minutes, but you can hang up anytime you like. You are strictly prohibited from mentioning any personal details that might reveal your identity during the call. You're also prohibited from mentioning better times as an entity or anything in regard to time travel as a whole. The conversation will be monitored at all times, and if you ignore these warnings, the call will be immediately disconnected and you will be subject to legal action from better times. Is that clear? Yes. All right, Mr. Anderson, if you have no more questions, I'll be transferring you over shortly. Please stay on the line. Hello? Hello? Yeah, um, hi. Can I please speak to Mrs. Anderson? She's not here right now. Can I give her a message? Do you know when she'll be back? Uh, soon, I think. She said it would only be five minutes. Well, do you mind staying with me on the line until she gets back? I don't think I'm going to be around to call her back later. Uh, sure. So, you must be no. Yeah, how do you know? Old family friend. I also happen to notice your birthday. You're what, 12 now? Yeah, I'm getting old. Yeah. Did your mother ever tell you where she was going? Uh, no. Just said she'd be back in five minutes. It was weird. Hmm. Maybe she got you a birthday present. Doesn't want you finding out. You think so? Is that why she's being all secretive? Maybe. How would I know? I don't know. You know her. Maybe she told you. 
Sorry, kiddo, your mom doesn't tell me much anymore. Presents wouldn't be a bad guess. It could be so many things, though. What, you never got any hints? Well, I don't know. I did tell her I needed socks this morning. God, do you think she got me socks? I can never have too many. That would quite possibly be the worst present she could get. <sighs> really? Nothing worse. How about a lump of coal? I would actually rather get coal than socks. Wait! She was asking me about my video games the other day. I don't know, kiddo. Those things are expensive. Oh my god. If she got me the new secret of Monkey Island, I would actually die from happiness. I'm sorry, the, the new what? Monkey Island. It's a really cool puzzle game. You get to play as this guy who meets the pilot leaders, and they make him do three trials to prove that he has what it takes to be a mighty pirate. Oh, and then the evil ghost pirate kidnaps the girl he likes, so then he has to save her and find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, yeah? Is that what you want to be when you grow up? Mighty pirate? God, I wish. Well, maybe she got you a night patch then. I hope not. It would be cool, but my eyesight is already bad enough. Don't you have glasses? Yeah. Well, I did. Until Tyler Hanlon broke them. Why'd he break them? Well, him and his asshole friends thought it was funny when I'd pass by and I couldn't see them. They always made fun of me for it. I guess I wasn't as funny to bully when Mom finally got me glasses. You know, I remember this one time in high school. I was walking to class and this kid just starts bouncing up and down next to me. Like he was some cartoon character. Tells me that's how I walk. And at the time I acted like I didn't care. Just laughed it off. But then I go home and I spend all night watching my walk in the mirror. I spent weeks obsessing over it. Over and over and over again, just walking up to my own reflection and trying to fix it. And the more I did it, the more people pointed it out, and the worse it got. I was in my own head. But, eventually I got over it. Every time someone would point out my walk, I'd just hunch my shoulders even more, stiffen my arms, suddenly develop a limp. <laughs> <laughs> I just start bumping into shit and knock it over. I just realized that I was stuck being me. I was fine with that. We are who we are now. Remember that the next time an asshole like Tyler Hamlin tries to use it against you. Hello? I'm here, Mom. Someone's on the phone for you. Who is it? Old family friend, apparently. He's funny. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Mom? Your call has been disconnected. Better times will follow up with you regarding legal action.
911, what's your emergency? 